Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, just another quick uh, small craft haul for you guys. Um, Hobby Lobby had a really good sale um, this weekend. I think it's been going on for a few weeks though. Um, They're doing a, a big clear out. I think they got a lot of stuff on clearance. But also um, they had... Um, the um everything by the paper studio brand was on sale for 50 percent off so i did pick up a few things from the paper studio so i'm just going to get started and show you guys what i got so first off is this saxon things it's the little uh it's by paper studio it's the little craft gable uh boxes um really cute i picked these up because i thought these would be really cute little uh gift boxes um to put treats in for different occasions so that's why i got them i got the craft uh color they also have white um because i could just use my scrapbook paper and i can um, decorate these boxes however i want i know that mother's day is coming up uh, easter is coming up um so i wanted to go ahead and get these see how they got these uh decorated on the back of the box using um scrapbook paper so really cute so you can put whatever you want in these little boxes and dress them up for cute gifts so i got those and um they're a regular 4.99 so i only paid 250 um, next, um, by Saxon Things in the Paper Studio, I got these cute little floral flat sacks. And these I really thought about Mother's Day treats for some of my friends and co-workers. I think this floral pattern and the stripes, really pretty for Mother's Day gifts. So... And you get four of each design. So you get 12 sacks in here. These were regular $3.99. They were half off. Got those. And then I also got the larger gift bags by uh, the Paper Studio. Petals and Blooms. Um, these run regular $9.99. So I got this whole pack of bags, which come with 12 bags for just $5. Really, really good deal. For gift bags so I don't really want to take them apart but they have some gold foiling on them and of course the florals so really nice and um I had Mother's Day in mind for all of these little things um, but they can also be used for feminine um, birthday gifts as well okay so next from Hobby Lobby and Paper Studio. I did get some of this heavyweight uh, cardstock, and this is the Craft Tone one. And it has, um, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different color tones of the uh, craft cardstock. And I got this heavyweight because I like the white heavyweight one that they carry. So I'm hoping this is just. Uh, uh, just the same as for as far as the durability and the weight of the paper so I like to use this paper for my card bases um, so I got this regular $8.99 so it was half off and I also got the the white one so got a pack of those I like to get their heavyweight because their regular card stock is kind of flimsy um, so I don't really like to get that, um, but I do love the heavyweight. Um, next, I got these uh, gemstones by the Paper Studio. And these are the little enamel dots. And these are sparkly gold and silver. And these are going to make some really pretty embellishments for some cards. So I got those. So that... And I also found some nonstick scissors. 
Since I do have quite a bit of craft scissors, but none of them are non-stick, and um, I have been wanting to get the Tim Holtz um, scissors, but I don't know, I'm finding it hard to spend $17.99 on a pair of scissors, but I know the quality is probably great, and it's probably worth every dime. But I'm going to try these out. These are non-stick. Um, they got the soft grip handle. And they were only $5.99 and they were 50% off. So I will try these out. But I still have my heart set on getting those Tim Holtz scissors. So yeah, I got those scissors. Okay, I also found this Sizzix Thin Lits. Um... <clears throat> Tim Holtz alterations. Uh, it comes with 12 dies and um, it has the season, joy, believe, merry, and bright. And um, I like these because they come in this little um, envelope where you can use to store them. So I really like that about this. Um, this line of Sizzix products um so yeah I was trying to find the name it says shadow script Christmas um yeah it's number 663104 so got that happy to get this that'll be of course for my Christmas card making Next, I got this uh, cutting template um, die, and this says hello. Um, and this is by Momenta, and this was on um, clearance for $2.49. So I really, really like this. And you could actually probably cut this out and just use the hello if you wanted to. So really, really cute. Looks like this. So, got that. It was on clearance. Another one that I found on clearance, which it's crazy because this uh, this die is regular $24.99 at Hobby Lobby. And it was on clearance for $3.24. And this one also says Merry and Bright. And this is going to be really good for my Christmas card making. So, I cannot leave this at the store. I love this die. So, it's it's kind of made like the the hello dive there another one for Christmas is this 3d texture impressions um, and this is Sizzix and this is the it looks like Courtney Chilson right here um, so this is uh, those 3d embossing folders I only own one more um, this one is for Christmas but I got a really pretty floral one and this one says fa la la and I really love the impression that you get with these so yep again for my Christmas card making it will definitely go in my stash <laughs> okay so this one is one by crafters companion and this one is regular $14.99 it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby for three dollars and seventy four cents it is the botanical garden and this is the cut and emboss uh, folder so it will emboss you can emboss and cut with this which is so neat so looks like that and they give you some kind of like inspiration of how you can use these Really nice by the Crafters Companion. I was happy to get my hands on that one as well. Um, also on clearance, um, I've used these before. These are uh, large snowflake glitter brands. And um, I, I made a really, really pretty scrapbooking page um, using these brads. Um, and I ran out. And so I found the last three packs of these at uh, Hobby Lobby for $1.24. They're regular four ninety nine. dollars I got them for $1.24 each. 
Um, so I'm glad they was on the clearance because even by them being Paper Studio, half off would have only put me at $250. So $124 was awesome. So I got the last three packs that I saw there um, on the shelf. Um, but yeah, this these will make really beautiful embellishments for cards or scrapbooking pages because I made a really pretty scrapbook page using these. And I was so proud of that page because it was the one time that it snowed where I live because we rarely ever get any snow around here. Rare. Very rare. <laughs> And so um, I just had to make a pretty um, scrapbooking page. So, yep, when I saw those, I had to grab them. Next, um, I picked up from Michaels a few things. I got some of their Valentine's clearance items. I can all, always put them in my stash for my Valentine cards. I got some of these little felt hearts. And um, these are regular four bucks. I got them for like a dollar and 40 cent, I think. Um, but yeah, you get 12 felt hearts. These will look pretty on cards or, you know, like I said, to embellish those little uh, gable boxes, um, things like that. So I also picked up some of these little stamp and die sets. Um, and these were only $2 each, um, all on the 60% off Valentine's uh, um, shelf. Um, these are all by Recollections. And this one has the little pizza and the little cupcake and the little coffee cup. It has the little coordinating dies. It says, you're super sweet. I love you a lot, eh, Valentine. you stolen a piece of my heart. Really cute. Um, and this one is really cute, too. It has the little kitty cat. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. Um, the little cat with her shades on. And you can cut her out. And also, you can cut uh, the little small heart here out. So thought that was cute and then I got this one as well just the regular Valentine's Day sentiment happy Valentine's Day be mine the key to my heart you get the three stamps uh, I'm sorry you get five stamps one two three four five six stamps and two cutting dies <laughs> so yep that'll be put up in my Valentine's stash for next Valentine or just some love cards if I want to make some love cards Okay, and I also picked up this Tim Holtz um, Ideology uh, Small Talk um, sticker book. And this was not on sale, but I did use a 40% off coupon, so I was able to get a discount on this. And I really love um, this. You can use them on, um, you know, your scrapbooking um layouts you can use them on cards if you do art journals these, these are perfect lots of really nice sentiments start doing things you love have an open heart live your dream with passion make a difference i'm happiest when i'm with you just a lot of good stuff you can get them uh, on the white background with the black ink and then also on the black background with the white ink which is really nice so i will be using these for um, cards and scrapbook layouts i'm going to start getting back into doing a lot of more scrapbooking i have pictures when I went on my last cruise that I have them all cased together and I have um, just some memorabilia from that cruise. Everything is together. I just have to sit down, pull it out and do it. And maybe I'm not sure you guys are into scrapbooking, but I will definitely share some of my scrapbooking layouts with you as well. I also got some craft glue, and this is just the Elmer's Craft Bond uh, Tacky Glue, and this one was only $2 and something at Michael's. Um, I decided to try this out. I love, let me show you my favorite, my favorite um, white glue. It, it, it dries uh it, it, it dries clear, but I love this tom, Tombow glue. Um, 
but I just decided I wanted to try this out because I've been I need to order the large one like this Michael's only had the small ones for $3.99 but I was like I've I've never tried this Elmer's glue um uh, but I was like, I can give it a shot. It's uh, really affordable. And I'll just see how it works. I'm not sure if it's going to work as good as my Tombow glue. Because I can use that glue to glue down embellishments and everything. So I'm going to give this one a shot. It was, it was super affordable. Last but not least, I found these Faber-Castell um, Art Grip uh, uh, watercolor pencils at Ross and these were only $5.99 at Ross um, I already took them out of the little packaging um, but this is what they look like they have the little insert here um, these are the pencils so I definitely want to try these out um, I don't have, this is actually my first set of Faber-Castell pencils. Um, my other pencils I share with you guys are um, regular color pencils and um, I've been practicing uh, using those and I'm definitely going to be sharing more projects um, with you guys that I do with those. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want to try these out. Really pretty colors. and. Um, they are numbered here they have all of the vibrant colors um yeah yellow orange red you get a deeper red or i'm not sure if that's going to come across as deep red or burgundy you get a peach color a turquoise blue color a true blue color green um this looks like an aqua green kind of brown orange and black let me see and they're they're shaped i guess they're shaped kind of triangular so they won't roll yeah so they won't roll on your desk um that says aqua aquarelle art grip um i don't see like a color name i don't have a piece of scratch paper around i wanted to try these out I can't wait to try these out um, I'm gonna probably stamp up an image and um, use these pencils to color and do some water coloring yeah and I'll share that with you guys but anyway that is my craft haul for today and I just want to thank you guys for watching and um liking if you like it give me a thumbs up please um and you can comment below and let me know if you've uh picked up any of these goodies um or if you've tried these pencils and how you like them um if you're not subscribed please click the link below to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye